Uh, GMO stands for genetically modified organisms and uh, I think the overarching aim is to use it for energy, security, food security, uh, etc. In 1996, genetically modified foods were first allowed into our food supply in America. The biggest problem with genetically modified organisms or genetically engineered foods is that we don't know the long-term outcome have forgotten that genetically engineered crops once outside can no longer be controlled like they could in the lab. GE crops can self-replicate and pass on their new characteristics to neighboring crops, penetrating the fields of farmers who want to cultivate their crops without genetic engineering. According to a new study that was done by Consumer Reports, a majority of packaged goods that are na labeled natural are actually contain genetically modified ingredients. Here's what I'll do as president. I'll immediately implement country of origin labeling because Americans should know where their food comes from. We'll let folks know whether their food has been genetically modified because Americans should know what they're buying. Here in America, you don't get the right to know if you're eating genetically modified organisms. Unless. 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 Unless you demand it. Unless you demand that GMOs get labeled. If there's nothing wrong with GMOs, why not put it on the label? We've talked to over 50,000 Vermonters. One thing we've learned for sure is that Vermonters want to know if their food contains genetically engineered ingredients. We store that um, foods that are genetically modified are labeled. And everything I am consuming directly affects this child that's growing in my belly. And I absolutely have a right to know what I'm eating and what I'm therefore feeding the child. Okay. There is no harm in labeling GMOs as GMOs just like uh, organic produce in a supermarket is labeled as organic. So uh, for those folks who think there's nothing wrong with GMOs, why should they be afraid of labeling it as such?